Good day fam. Welcome back to class. Glad to have you here. Okay, today we'll be doing something different. We'll be making a mesh fringe skirt for adults. We are not doing baby tutorial today. So, I will be mixing these colors. I'll be using this brand. Yeah, yeah. And I will be doubling my strands as usual. So, I'm making that skirt you saw at the beginning of the video. So, I'll be mixing these four colors yellow, red, black, and green to give that Jamaican vibe. So, these colors are requested by my clients. So, I'll be mixing these colors. I'll be using my 4.0 mm hook. I don't know if you can see that. 4.0 mm. I'll be using Danny Nido to weave in my hands and scissors because we'll be cutting a lot of hands. And if if you are making this in one color, fine and good. You can make it in any color, in as many colors as possible. And I'll be using this. Yeah, ear straightener. I'll be using it to straighten out my fringe at the end of the when I'm done with my skates after attaching my fringe because I want a very straight, very straight um fringe. I don't want it wrinkled. I want to straighten out so i'll be using this to achieve that which is quite optional so i think that is all the materials we'll be needing so let's jump right into the video so starting up my my skirt i'll be making a chain i'm making a chain that is i'm working with hip measurements 41 inches so i'll be making a chain that is 40 inches long so that my skirt can stretch a little to meet up the required measurement which is 41 so i would suggest you if you want to make your chain make sure it's just a, an inch or one and a half inch shorter don't overstretch your chain because mesh shrinks a lot so you might end up your project might end up not sizing you if you overstretch your foundation chain so if you want something that is fitted so just make it just make your foundation chain an inch shorter or one and a half inch i hope my explanation makes sense so I'll make a slip knot, then start making my foundation chain. One, two. So I'll go ahead and chain my the required number of chains. So I'll come back and tell you the number of chains I made. So I have my foundation chain done. I have one hundred and fifty-five chains here. So right now you are going to be slip stitching. You are going to be joining this chain together to form a circle. So to do that and to make sure. That my chain is not twisted so with my chain facing me so i'll go ahead like this like this so this is the very first chain i made i'm going to turn this like this then slip stitch into that very first chain So this is what we have. So moving on, I'm going to chain up three, which stands for a double crochet. I've chained three. So I'm going to the next, make a double crochet. Make a double crochet into the next. So I'll go ahead and double crochet into all my chains. So when I come to the end, I'll come and show you what next to do. Okay, so before I slip stitch, I will cross check again my work if it's twisted or not before proceeding to the next round. So I'll go ahead and slip stitch on, in my third chain. One, two, three. One, two, three. In the third chain, go ahead and. Okay, slip stitch. So. We are going to be starting our mesh pattern now so to do that i will so i'm going to chain up four chain up three one two three that's double crochet then one more that's four then turn my work we are going to be turning our work so after making <clears throat> the four chains i'm going to skip this double crochet <clears throat> this very double crochet i'll skip it moving to the next one make a double crochet I'll chain one. I'll skip this double crochet. 
I'll skip this, the next double crochet, then I'll work double crochet into the next one. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. I'll chain one, then skip the next double crochet, then double crochet into the second one. So this is our pattern. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the next one. You chain one, you skip the next, you double crochet into the next. Chain one, you skip the next. Double crochet into the next chain one you skip double crochet chain one skip double crochet so like that repeat this all around i'll show you how to start the next round so coming to the end of my round i have two stitches left this and this this two so in case you have just one left you just chain one and slip stitch inside your third chain but if you have two left just like me um after chaining one i'll skip this work into this last double crochet then I'll chain one and slip stitch in the third chain. One, two, three. I'll just make my slip stitch. So this is what we have. So moving to the next round, I'm going to chain up with four as usual. One, two, three, and four. Then I'll flip my work. Turn over. So I'm going to skip the I'm going to be skipping the one chain. The chain one then double crochet on top of double crochet chain one skip the chain one double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one skip the chain one skip the chain one then double crochet on the double crochet like this so i'll chain one again i'll chain one again skip the chain one then double crochet on the double crochet so this will be our repeat so go ahead and do this at the end of the round i'll show you how to finish up and start the next round so coming to the end of the round i've done my last double crochet which is this so i'll chain one then slip stitch inside the third chain one two three so this is what we have so moving on to the next round it's just the same as a previous row it's not a repeat row so i'll chain four one two three four flip my work so after turning i'm going to skip the chain one and double crochet on top of the double crochet chain one double crochet chain one Skip the chain one space and double crochet on the previous double crochet. Chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet on top of the previous double crochet. So, at the end of this round, I'll come back and show you how to change color. At the end of this fourth round, I'll be changing my color to color yellow. But if you are doing your own skirt in, in one color, so you just go ahead and repeat your route. You have your desired length before we add our fringe. So, I'll come back and show you how to change your color. So I'm here at the end of my fourth round. So to finish off, I'm going to chain up one and slip stitch in the third chain. One, two, three, as usual. Then I'll chain up one and cut because I want to switch color. But if you are not switching color, just go ahead and continue your project. But as for me, I'm switching up color. We are switching up as well. So you need to cut off your yarn. So I will be using color yellow. So I'll make my slip knot. Then right inside where I cut off my yarn, I'm going to be attaching my yarn back inside that same space. I'm going to be chaining up for one, two, three, and four. And I'll turn. Don't forget to always turn your work. So I'm going to go directly into the next double crochet and work double crochet inside. Chain up one. Keep the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in the double crochet. So, so I'll go ahead, I'll make four rows for the yellow also, then change to red, then change to black. So I'll just try and mix up the colors because I'm using four colors like I said earlier. So I'll go ahead and continue this until I have my desired length. So before we had our so when I get my desired length, 
I'll come back and show you how to add the fruits. Okay, so guys, welcome back. I have um my skirt here. This is where I started. I attached my strings already. I changed, I think, around 250 chains. So I have this. So I made, I did 30, I think 34 rows in total. Yes. So which measures around um 16 inches. Let me take the measurement again. Yeah, I have my 16 inches here. And I want my skirt to be 40 inches long in total with the fringe. So I'll be taking away 16 that I have. I'll be taking it away from 40 inches that I want. So I'll be having 24 inches left. And remember, whatever um length you have, whatever inches you have left, you are going to be doubling it. You know our fringe, you are going to be doubling our string. You are going to be attaching it, making a knot. So it's going to be in double fold. So if, you, if I have 24... So multiply by two, that will be forty-eight. So forty-eight inches. That will be the length of my fringe. So I'll be mixing the color. I'll be mixing the color I want. All the colors I used here, which is red, yellow, black, and green. I'll be mixing all the strings together to make my fringe. So start attaching with my four mm hoop. I got out my strings already, and this is what I have. I'll be mixing all the colors. So, I'll just grab the middle, fold into two. So, with my string here, I'm going to make it look like this. After folding it into two, to make it look here, make sure the hands are equal. So, I have this. I'm going to go into my chain one space, just like that. Then, I'll grab my loop, pull this inside, remove my hook, then right inside that loop. Take the remaining tail and pull and make a knot just like that we have the first string apart we attach the first fringe already so moving and i'm going to be skipping one then moving on to the next one skip this move to the next insert my hook now my next fringe make sure it is equal at the end so i'll make it loop just like this and use my hook to pass it through the chain one Remove my hook, have my hand inside the, my fingers inside the loop. Then take the remaining tail and pull inside them. You cannot. Just like that. Let me show you one more time. And I'll go ahead and do the remaining off camera. So this is my fringe. Make sure the ends are equal. Then what I have, I'm going to be skipping the next, then into the next one. I'm putting my hook from the on the back grab the loop grab my fringe drop my hook my fingers inside grab the tail then make a knot it's as simple as that so i'll go ahead and attach all the remaining fringe then i'll come back and show you how to straighten out our fringe so come and straighten it out so i finished attaching all the fringe and this is what i have so the next our skirt is practically done like all you just need to do is trim off the hands and you are good but as for me i would like to straighten out my fringes i want something straight so the next the next step is quite optional if you don't want to it's fine um so let me show you what i'm going to do next okay so here i have my hair straight now it's on and it's very hot right now so I tried it out, I straightened this out already. Can you see there's, there's a difference between this and this? Can you see? This is straightened. So I use my hair straightener to straighten this out. So to do that, all you need to do is, this is the next set I'm doing. So I'm going to open this up. It's very hot right now. So I'm just going to be pulling from the top. Like that. Like that right there i'll keep pulling like that till the end of the fringe be very careful make sure you don't bore yourself yeah look at what we have as in very small and straight 
look at the two that we've done let me do that one more time okay right there so let's keep putting like that so i pull to the very end of this fringe so here is what i have look at that so i'll just go ahead and use my ear straight now to straighten everything out at the end of everything i'll show you what it looks like on the mannequin after straightening out my fringe and I trimmed the end of my fringe so that I can have a rhyme end let me move a little closer okay can you see very beautiful and nice so thank you for staying to this moment and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet thank you see you in my next video bye